Hi everyone, it's Donna. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Lights of Sugarberry Cove by Heather Weber. This is a romance with magical realism and so much more. I can't wait for you to hear what this definite read book is about. I knew I was in for a wonderful read from the first chapter because the author did such an excellent job featuring the main characters, uh, especially Sadie, the girl with the silver hair, who was saved by the Lady of the Lake. Now I am testing out a teleprompter, so bear with me as I get used to my speed. All right, back to The Lights of Sugarberry Cove. I love when magical realism especially has down-to-earth stories and down-to-earth people because it makes the magical realism believable enough so that you can also believe in magic because the stories and the characters are so relatable. I like when they have telltale signs or markings that signify a major transformation in their lives and sometimes uh, if they've been brought back to life. I also love when characters are so brave and courageous that they can still fumble their way through their hero or heroine's journeys despite the hells and the traumas that they've been through and they still come out on top and they get to experience the ups and downs that we all do. So in The Lights of Sugarberry Cove, it has all of these things and so much more. I am now some of the midlife readers for my older and wiser time so I am loving this new subcategory. I love this read it focuses on those multi characters the relationships familial and romantic that need to be healed and a past that seems too difficult to overcome but enough hope that divine intervention can have a hand in making everything right that has gone wrong and you know me from my work as walks in spirit so as a psychic medium i know how much true magic can affect us and the good that can come of that if you're also a writer like i am you need to know that the sample that's available most places in chapter one is one of the best and most interesting setups that i've ever seen for a book. She summarizes everything so well, so flawlessly. Um, I couldn't put it down after that. And she's able to combine all the story arcs and all the different elements so skillfully. It's beautiful. She has, as I said, magical realism, the small town, hometown theme, sisters um, making up, and the first love that went wrong subgenres. All the story arcs flow naturally. All the characters fit believably and wonderfully. I will be studying her structure because there is no flow up and her skill and the things that she's using behind the scenes is seamless. As for the characters, all of them are relatable like I said, Sadie, is the first one we see. She's the sister who was saved by the Lady of the Lake. She is on a quest to understand why she was saved. Layla is her sister. Uh, she's a stay-at-home wife and mom who stayed in the same city where her mom's B&B was. Uh, she's unhappy with her circumstances and in this book she's trying to understand if there's a way out of that. And their mother we also see from her point of view, she had to put her dreams aside when her husband inherited this place and decided to run a bed and breakfast. However, he died early and she was left a widow with two small children and a bed and breakfast to run. She did take over it and made it a success to provide for her family and to keep a roof over their heads as a single mom. This book explores the question of was the price for fulfilling her husband's dream too high and because it's a bed and breakfast we get to see other characters to also intertwined within the, these three main characters there are the guests the workers 
old loves, and many more. They're, once again, all realistic in an interesting way. I can't wait to read more. So I am hoping that The Lights of Sugarberry Cove is the first in a series. So Ms. Weber, kudos as a reader and a writer, two thumbs up. I suggest you pick up your copy and start reading this book today so you can read what I'm talking about. Take care. Talk to you soon. This has been Donna.